Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to take a look at the major ETFs here and I'm going to give my analysis and thought process and the idea here is for you to walk away from this video with some newfound knowledge on technical analysis as well as some profitable trade ideas here on the market itself. But first, if you're not already a member at the tradinganalyst.com, Go ahead and give us a visit on the home page of the website and get to know us a little bit better. If you like the free videos and analysis we give to you on a daily basis, it's nothing compared to the membership at the tradinganalyst.com. Once you sign up with your free seven day trial, you're going to gain instant access to the professional chat room, the daily watch list, the real time profitable trade alerts that are not only given in the live chat room, but also via text message and email. So if you have a full-time job or a part-time job, or maybe you just can't be in front of the computer screen all day long, you're still going to get access to those profitable trade alerts. You're also going to get instant access to the exclusive daily member videos, webinars, and an education from mentors like myself who truly care about your success in the market. It's a great opportunity. and We'd love to have you. All right, so we're going to start off here with the S&P 500 and work our way out from here. So. First of all, I want to touch on the more recent action here. We've got a support still down here. You can see if you've been following along the videos, you know that we saw the support right here, 2277, 2275 approximately. And we've got this resistance up here from these previous highs over here. You can see we got rejected at it right here. And no surprise that today was an inside day here on the S&P 500 as we came up to these previous highs right here. More than likely, we're going to fill this gap down here before breaking out any higher, okay? We've got resistance up here, gap down here, and we've still got support down here as well that you wanna be aware of. So if we do break this support, we've got a lot of support below us right here. You really wanna pay attention to about the 2260 level. 2260 level here is where if we break it on the S&P 500, that's where some real downside could occur. So pay attention to that 2260 level on the S&P 500. Next, we're going to take a look at the Dow Jones here. Dow Jones, pretty similar here. Uh, we've got resistance up here at 2103. 2103 is that resistance. You can see two days in a row coming into that level and not able to break over it just yet. We've got a gap down here that will likely fill before new highs are made. And then we've got some short-term support based off of these candles right here at around 19,855, okay? 19,855 is that support level. And then the make or break level here for the Dow Jones, similar to the 2260 level on the S&P 500, is right here about 19714. So if we get a, a clean break of 19714, that's when we can expect some real downside on the Dow Jones. And I would expect at least 19253 uh, to get hit uh, if we do break this price level. There's a little bit of support right there. And the ultimate buy zone here, I'm gonna back it up so you can see it here, is right around here at about 1836. I'm sorry, 18636 down here. There's this uptrend line right here. I'm going to extend it for you right here. And it lines up perfectly with this support right here. So big buy zone. If we do end up seeing a dip like this, who knows if it'll go down here. But if it does, that is a great buying opportunity as it will retest the previous all-time highs. Next, we're going to look at the... NASDAQ and the NASDAQ you can see right here we've got a really nice uptrend line to play with so it started here in November of 2016 here's a touch here's a touch right here and then that lines up perfectly with this 5575 support right here so 5575 on the NASDAQ is that level you want to pay attention to on the support side and then we've got resistance up here, which I don't think is going to break here uh, before filling this gap down here, is right around 5670. So 5670 and 5570 are those two 
levels that you want to be paying attention to on the NASDAQ. Next, we're going to touch on the IWM, Russell 2000 here. Very clean chart here. We've got a big range here between 138 and 133.60. Okay, so 138, 133.60, about a $5 range right here, about $4.60. I'm sorry, $4.30 right here on the IWM. If we break these highs right here, then we can see a nice breakout. A close over 138 would send IWM higher. Conversely, if we got a close below 133.60, then we can see some downside on IWM, and the nearest support is right down around 129 based off of these candles right here. But obviously very choppy here for the IWM. Uh, same with the rest of the market um, up at these highs. We're seeing a lot of individual plays uh, breaking out here, but if you're playing the indexes here, uh, obviously we're still very bullish here near all-time highs, um, but I expect some choppiness to continue. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video, everyone. Again, if you're not already a member at thetradinganalyst.com, give us a visit on the homepage of the website and get to know us better. If you like the free videos and analysis we give to you on a daily basis, it's nothing compared to the membership at thetradinganalyst.com. The best part is, once you sign up with your free seven-day trial, you're going to gain instant access to those profitable trade alerts that members are getting on a daily basis. It's a great opportunity, and we'd love to have you.